New at 5.30, we're learning that North Korea is making preparations for another intercontinental ballistic missile test. U.S. intelligence officials tell CNN that U.S. satellites have detected new imagery and satellite-based radar emissions indicating North Korea may be testing components for another launch. The next test launch would be the first since North Korea successfully launched an ICBM on July 4th. Hi, with news analyst, Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us now in studio to talk about the latest information. This missile U.S. officials are talking about, is that the missile that they mentioned that would hit Alaska? Yes. With this particular effort, I think they're looking at improving the range of that same missile, and eventually it'll be able to hit other parts of the United States. All right. Uh, General Paul Selva, he's the vice chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, says North Korea is good at camouflaging the missile. What is he talking about? It's a combination of not only uh, uh, making sure you can't see it from a satellite, but the placement of it in reference to it being mobile, it's not in a fixed situation, so they can change it from time to time, and the camouflage itself is part of the, the territory and the environment that it's uh, housed within. What about the nu nuclear aspect? Is that still in place you here? Know, that too, that's a good point. You know, with the developing the missile to be able to give it further range, simultaneously I do believe they're developing a nuclear capability for that missile, and once that's a Accomplished, then we need to be really concerned about uh, having a, uh, a strategy to be able to defeat that before they launch it. Defense Secretary James Mattis uh, has long warned to General that letting North Korea get to this point, it was going to be a bad thing. He's been looking for a diplomatic solution all the time. Mike, you and I have been talking about this for uh, many months at, at this point. Uh, he's right. Uh, we don't know exactly where they are, but we do know the time to find out what their capability is is not the time after they launch it. So we're looking at certainly diplomatic ways, including China intervention, but the ability to determine exactly what they have to include being able to launch it not only from a fixed position, a mobile position, but from a submarine. And having a nuclear capability would give us a tremendous challenge to be able to deal with. All right, General, as always, thank you for your thoughts.